Okay, so as a regular user of Rekordbox, Serato and Tractor, I wanted to see what the latest offering in the DJ software hardware world had to offer. And the brand new software is that Engine Prime by Den and DJ. I'm going to download this software, record what I'm doing and just give my first overview opinion and my first look at the software so you can get my honest opinion and see what it actually does. Let's get it downloaded. Firstly, I must say that this video is not endorsed by Denon or any other company. This is our first look at the new software and our opinions on it. Okay, so the software itself is intended for use with their new SC5000 player range. This software is used to prepare and analyze your music and at first glance it reminds me a lot of Pioneer's record box in export mode. We have a player up at the top, some library management tools on the left and your music library in the center. I don't have any music in this library yet by the looks of it, so firstly let's try and get some music in here. If we navigate through the different music management headers, you can see we have access to Denon's Crate and Playlist options, your iTunes library, even Serato DJs can access their Serato library. This is something that Pioneer's Rekordbox doesn't currently offer. Firstly though, I'm going to import both my iTunes and Serato DJ libraries to the software, and this could take a while. In the meantime, something I like to do is have a look at the preferences or settings for a piece of software. What settings can I actually change? Looks like we have some audio options for different audio devices, sample rates, buffer size, all the usual stuff. Some more playback options, whether you want the track to play from cue position or track start. Sync modes, quantize. It's nice to see it goes down to an eighth, quarter, a half and up to four beats if need be. Time format, I'm guessing this is time elapsed, time remaining or something along those lines, and waveform zoom. Again, it's nice to be able to zoom into waveforms to check whether the grid's right and other things like that. In the library tab, we've got the analysis options. This is something that's really nice, the key notation actually, we can have it in Camelot mode. That's something that Rekordbox doesn't offer at the moment. Um, the BPM ranges and how it analyzes the music. I'm gonna leave it on 78 to 155 for now. I think that's probably the majority of my music. We've also got the integration options here, iTunes library, Serato library, which is what's going on in the background. And some system options here, we've got library optimization. I'm guessing run cleanup will fix any problems with your library. But yeah, the settings look pretty good so far. Okay, so it looks like it's imported my music from both Serato and iTunes pretty well. We've got all my crates here, all my iTunes playlists there. I've just noticed that it's organized them in alphabetical order, which is slightly frustrating just because it doesn't truly represent the same organization that is in my Serato library currently. Nevertheless though, this is pretty cool. Um, let's get a track loaded in first of all. If I just load something, drag it to the player. Here we go. Ah, we've already got some cue points which it has pulled through from Serato um, across the top. Let's see if we right click them. We can name them, that's great. And actually change the color. Pretty standard in most DJ softwares. If I just cue that track back up, we've got information such as the BPM and the key and even some album artwork, which is nice. I've noticed the waveform is blue, green, and white to represent, I'm guessing the low, mids, and highs. That's slightly different to other DJ softwares, but nevertheless, something you'd easily get pretty comfortable with. Let's have a look at the grid options. On this tab, we can manually fine tune the grid half and two times it, or even shift it, fine tune shift left and right if the grid's not placed exact. The tab below that, loop and beat jump controls. We can set manual loops, click loop in and loop out to manually set a loop, enable it, turning it on and off. We can even shift the loop left and right, which is really nice touch, or even half or double. This is really intuitive so far. On the next tab, we've got the auto loop and the Beat jump feature I'm guessing, let's unloop that, check out the auto loop, can we go right down to something like a 16th or even a 32 beat, that's great. Undo the loop, let's beat jump forwards, maybe 30, oh, 64 beats, nice. This helps us set our cue points through the track, if we want to jump in phrase, that's really nice. Along the top, I've just noticed we have the loop save options as well. So not only do we have eight hot cues, but we also have eight um, banks to save loops. We've got a few loops already saved here from Serato. 
we can save another one, I'm guessing just by clicking the loop and clicking it again, and we've got a new loop saved. We can right click that and rename it if we want, I'll leave it, it's fine. Another feature that Engine Prime offers is the dual layer. Now this isn't a piece of DJ software in itself, it's more management, but again, we could play two tracks side by side with a quick sync button to manually sync them up and then hit play and we can sync the tracks and crossfade between the two. This is just an easy way to check how two tracks sound together, but you wouldn't use this to actually DJ with. Now let's see if we can get some music onto a USB drive ready to go in one of the players. I plugged a drive in, straight away it's popped up on the devices tab here. Um, let's see, can I just drag a Serato playlist? It looks like I can't drag a whole playlist from Serato into the device. So let's have a look at the playlist and crates options within Engine Prime. Crates, new crate, we'll call this test. Can I drag the Serato crate across to there? Let's check. No, so I can't drag the crate. How about if I select all the tracks? Can I drag the tracks across? That I can do. It's then drag them into the test crate and I'm guessing I can just drag this onto where it says collection on the device. You can also create playlists which are maybe separate to your collection um, just for individual sets. It works in the same way by dragging the tracks you want directly onto the playlist. This can then be dragged over to the playlist tab on the device. You notice at the bottom it says packing playlists. It seems to actually update the USB very, very fast. This almost seems a lot faster than Rekordbox, which is nice. We can go into the profile preferences and within here we have loads of settings for the USB and these are more player options. So when we plug the USB into the player, we can change how it reacts and how it's set up for our DJ style. If we go back to devices, eject that, and that should be ready to be played with. Remember, this software is absolutely free to download. You can download it yourself and have a play around with it, even if you don't have any of the Denon DJ gear. We're going to be getting our hands on the SC5000 and X1800 very shortly. Make sure to check back to our YouTube channel for videos on the hardware itself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.